Hey everyone, okay, welcome back to my channel. So, I wanted to do a really quick video on how I apply my lashes. I honestly have to say that when it comes to applying lashes, it's practice makes perfect. It's not gonna be perfect, perfect the first time that you do it. So you just have to keep on practicing and that is the best recommendation I can give. And the reason I say that is because I never knew how to do my lashes maybe about two years ago three years ago I never knew how to put my own lashes on I used to always ask my cousin to put them on for me whenever we were going out and she would be so annoyed at me and I was like you know what I need to go ahead and put these things on because they're not gonna always be around to do it for me so it really took some practice it was not easy it maybe took a couple of tries but honestly it shouldn't take you no more than a week if you're practicing constantly to get it or no more than a month I should say to be able to put your own lashes on so let's get started and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel if you like the stuff that I am or the information that I'm giving you I would really 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 appreciate that so we're gonna start off with the stuff that I use every single time whenever I put my lashes on so the first thing that you want to make sure that you have is a tweezer so I'm gonna show you two different type of tweezers that I use and this is the first tweezer that I use right here So this is it right here. It's basically a regular tweezer, okay? And then the other tweezer that I recently got from Amazon is this one right here. Honestly, I got this tweezer because it was rose gold, but it also has a wider grip for you to hold the lash in place when you're putting it on so I also use this sometimes um, especially when I'm putting on the lash glue to to be very honest I use this mostly and I use this a lot when I'm doing my clients I should say so the next thing you want to have is a scissors if this is a um, this is a scissors that I use basically a small scissors or you could use any scissors to be honest with you but I find that this is a little bit more detailed I could cut exactly where I'd like to cut so if you're getting the lashes for the first time you want to definitely measure the lash out so that's the reason why you need a scissors but if it's a lash that you've used all the time you won't need the scissors again the next thing you want to make sure you have is some lash glue and the one that I like to use is the callus glue eyelash adhesive I have both the clear and the black but today I'm going to be using the clear and this is it right here okay so I like to use this because it has a brush and most glues now these days come with a brush but this one comes with a brush applicator which makes it a lot easier when you're applying the lash and also um, I just like this glue because when I was researching it is basically great especially for anybody who has sensitive skin or anything like that it's, it's pretty good so that's why I wanted it in my kit and that's why I use it personally also for myself I have never had any issues with this glue so basically it's my favorite right now but I do have some um, duo glue as well in my kit that I use every now and then so I do like both of them but I mostly use the callus glue the last thing that you need is a handy dandy mirror I like to use a small oh let me take it out the damn case Duh. I like to use a small mirror this is it right here so for me sorry let's get that focused okay I use any small mirror for me I like a, a mirror like this size because I can literally hold it in my hand like this and I won't have to like I'm not struggling with the whole process you could use a handheld mirror too um whatever you have available okay so those are all the things that you need when you're getting ready to apply your lashes and last but not least of course is the lashes and once again I'll be putting on my stushy lashes from my collection these are them right here these are my favorite lashes these are stushy silk lashes they're full mink styles I do carry mink styles on my website as well but for some reason I've been so stuck on this style right here it is completely my favorite 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 lash alright so the first thing that you want to do is you want to take your tweezer and basically I take my tweezer like this and you basically want to take it off of the lash case very gently okay so you're taking it and taking it off the lash case by the base okay 
So what I like to do is I like to take the tweezer and hold the lash like this. Okay, and that's the reason why I say sometimes I like to use this tweezer because I'm able to hold the lash base a little bit better. So you see the difference? Okay, so you hold the lash base like this and let's get our glue and you're basically going to apply the glue to the lash base. I generally apply glue throughout the whole lash, but then I always go in extra on the edges because for some reason that's where any problem would usually normally occur. You don't have to overdo it, but you want to make sure that it's coated very well. And with the um, clear glue, you're able to see when it starts to dry just a little bit because like they say, you really want to get it tacky because it's a lot easier to put on when it's tacky because you won't have it moving all around too much when it's a little bit tacky, but at the same time, it's not like completely dry either. So what I usually do is, it's not that warm in my apartment right now, so I'm going to actually do the other, actually I'm not. What I normally would do is put the glue on my other lash right now. And then by the time I do that, this one is almost about ready for me. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm showing you guys how I apply my lashes, so I don't want to do that. So right now, you just want to kind of wait for it to get a little tacky. It doesn't take that long. Don't wait too long because it could dry up on you. That's happened to me before. I try to be like other people, putting it down and then doing something else on my face. And next thing you know, I went, I went to put it on and it's like completely dry. And I'm like, shit, now I got to put the glue on again. All right, so we're going to wait a little bit. It's starting to dry up a little bit. I can see it now. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and show you how I put the lash on next. Okay, so really quickly before I zoom you guys in, I want to show you exactly how my head is and how I hold my mirror while I'm getting ready to put the um, lashes on. So <clears throat> I hold the mirror in my hand like this, okay? My head generally stays straight just like this. I don't bend my head like this whatsoever. I hold the mirror down here, which let me show you. So pretty much the mirror is being held right here by my waist, okay? So this is where my mirror is being held, and that way when I look straight, I'm seeing my eye, my whole line eye. Okay, so basically, while the mirror is being, this is where the mirror is right now, okay? I'm unable to show you guys because unfortunately, my camera is not about to be moving right now, um, but that's where the mirror is right now as I speak. So what I do is I keep my head straight and I just look down, just like this, okay? I look down and that way I can see the sh my, um, my eyelid shape where I need to place the lash, okay? So that's where we're at right now. Let me zoom you guys a little bit in and then we're gonna finish this up. Okay, so now I have my mirror in place, which is about chest level. I have my lash in my hands. You wanna make sure the lash is the right one for the left or the right eye based on which eye you're doing. So I'm keeping my head straight like this and I'm looking down into my mirror. If you need to adjust your mirror height, you can if you find it harder for you to see, but you need to just make sure that you're able to see you're looking down into your mirror and not like this, okay? That's not gonna make it easier for you. Well, not for me anyways. So I'm looking down like this. I have the lash in my hand and I hope this didn't dry up too much because I was talking a lot. And basically, I'm just now going to apply the lash in the center part first, right there. Once I have that, then I start to get to the corners and I like to use my other tweezer for this. And I place my corners. I think this is dry too much. And I place my corners first. Yeah, this one dried a little bit too much. So this one, this side actually dried just a little bit too much. The edge corner, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue, and I sometimes generally do this. I know, it's a little, maybe a little bit dangerous. And I usually use another mirror, a regular mirror, and I just sort of apply the glue where it dried up. I let that sit for a couple seconds before I reapply that. So in the meantime, I could be putting my other lash on, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to do it over just to show you guys the other side. So I'm going to go right on in ahead 
and reapply this one that ended up drying up on me before I could apply it. One thing about me, I always like to make sure that the edges are really secure. So I'm constantly pushing those in. You know, I want to make sure those are secure more than anything else. And with the glue, if you see it's white, I'm pretty sure you've seen, if, if you guys have ever seen any other lash video, don't worry about the color. It's supposed to dry clear or black if you're using the black glue. So that's that eye. And I put glue on me, my other lash. Let me see. It's not quite ready yet. It's still a little moist. So we're going to wait till this lash is ready. And then I'm going to show you how I put it on again on the other side. And we're going to wrap this video up. Okay, so now we're going to apply the other lash. So once again, I'm going to have my mirror by my chest and I'm going to look down into the mirror and have the lash right here. So we're now placing the lash in the center first. Okay. Now we're going to go to the outer edges. This one's a little bit more moist than the other one. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see. Let me move my hand this way. Now we're going to stick the last edge like so. Ooh. This is not the normal way I would do it because I'm trying to make you guys see what I'm doing at the same time. So you want to stick it. If it starts to lift a little bit, it's okay. Just stick it back until the glue dries down on your eye because sometimes it's just not really adherent to dry. So sometimes you got to hold it in place like so and I will go back in and start to press it in onto the lash line just to make sure there's no gaps because sometimes when you place it everything may not be laying down just certain parts so I go back in and make sure that everything is laying down and voila now an additional step that you can do some people use an eyelash curler um, I like to use this tweezer that I showed you guys earlier because it, it has a wide base right here so I like to just use that tweezer and go in and just kind of like press the lashes together. I need to use my mirror for this. I don't know why I'm trying to do it the wrong the way that I normally do. So I usually like to go in like this and squeeze it down by the base but not touching your eyes. Be careful not to t clip your eye itself and just squeeze it together. Especially if you have like, um, of course that would happen. Especially if you have like at least some good lashes there. Just kind of pressing it, firming it in. Also, another thing that some people do is they apply it. Some people put their mascara on before they put their lashes on. I I don't know. I tried that many times. It doesn't really work that well for me because I find that the, it gets my own lashes gets in the way with the mascara. So I like to put the mascara on after. And I'll just go in at the base and just make sure that I'm putting the mascara there, blending it in with the lash itself. Okay? And there's times when I just take my hand and I just press it in at the base, like so. I'm not somebody who wears lashes without my makeup done, so generally I just want to just put my lashes on like this. But I wanted you guys to see how the lashes go on on my eyelid without no other distraction on my face. Also, if you want, you could take a black eyeliner pencil and go in underneath as well. You know just to kind of like any sort of your skin showing you want to just kind of like blend that right in but the goal is to get it as close to your lash line as possible without it actually coming down on that because you obviously can't go that far down you want to get it as close to your lash line as possible and for me I find that using the mirror and looking down into it I can literally see my lash line and I can be able to place it right there on top of my lash line it just works out better for me Remember guys, practice makes perfect. This is not going to look or it's not going to be easy the first time that you do it. But if you do it a couple of times, you're going to start to get into the habit of what works and what doesn't work and you adjust what you're doing to make it a lot easier. So just keep that in mind. Alright guys, so I am done with this mini tutorial on how I put my lashes on. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. I hope it helps somebody out there with your lash struggle game. 
Um, and don't forget to check out my other videos. And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I just would really appreciate it. If there's any other video suggestions you have, you can leave it down in the comment bar down below. And I will take it into consideration. Actually, I would probably do it just because, you know, what else is there to do? <laughs> All right, guys. If you like my lashes, you can definitely check out my website, www.prettystushy.com. All the information will be down in the link, the description bar down below. You can click on the link and you can shop some of my favorite styles that I love, especially this one. This is like my top notch. This lash is called Stushy, if you're looking out for it. And you can check it out on my website. Okay, guys. So I'm going to see you guys in the next one. And I am out of here.